everybody, wanna wheeze me here, 2.23 a.m. here, episode 144, isn't it, I think, uh, yes, <laughs> alright, so, uh, episode 144, solo survival, while the video rendered real quick, I threw this thing together, and uh, basically what do I mean by that is a double chest, did a little inventory cleansing, I think it was off camera, uh, when I killed a skeleton, I got a bow, I think an arrow and a bone, so, I get a lot of bow drops, that's one thing that goes my way. Ironically, I'd rather have bones and arrows, but whatever. Um, I made some seeds while we were away, and I guess now we need to go to bed. And we're gonna go out, and we're going to plant the saplings, the spruce saplings, plant the pumpkins, listen to mobs burn, and then we're gonna start uh, terraforming a bit for our cabin. I also might make a front door. No promises. No creeper. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, let's see here. What do we want to do? Let's see. I don't know. I assume the spruce tree will grow. We're going to stick it right there. With his friend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Where should we put the pumpkins? How about over here, maybe? That should be okay. We'll come in there. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, these should all be able to kind of come in and do their thing. Eventually I'll make like a dedicated patch for them, I think. But for now, this this will be okay. And we'll put that there. See what that does. We'll we'll just kind of monitor it. It's done. We've cleared out a slot. There's a celebrating donkey. Things are looking up. All right. Let's see if we can pull this off. I get like the lowest drop rate for chickens in console edition. I figured that would make one since it didn't land in the pin like I thought it would. Okay, so the good news is these guys have not been killed. That was sort of the whole point of this thing, is to uh, avoid the wolves. So let's get a shovel down there. I can already tell we're probably going to need another one. So we will come into our tools, and we will do just that. All right, so we're going to head up here and terraform. See what we can't do. These zombies, I tell you what. Oh. Oh, villager zombie. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess he was down there somehow. Alright, let's see here. Probably should have made an iron shovel, but whatever. I'm trying to think what we want to do. I don't want this to be, like, super elaborate or super lame either. Uh, we're probably also going to need some wood for whatever that's worth to you. If it's worth anything at all. Let's, uh, uh, I'm trying to pick out the spots. Not quite sure what we'll wind up doing. So let's just, uh, let's, let's do this. I want to have that gun, and do we want a cobble foundation? I could go overkill. We could put gravel down and then cobble. But I don't guess we will. No one's really gonna know. <laughs> you know. So do we wanna do that? I'm not sure. It would take more time. Alright, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's gonna be a seven front right there. And then will be three, five, seven, nine, eleven, okay. Maybe we'll just kind of like wing it <laughs> and, and see what happens, I don't know. Alright, so there's our corner post right there. There's that. And that one, that one. Are we gonna do pier and B? Maybe, maybe that's what I should just do. 
put a pier and beam up on this thing. I guess we could do that. Might not be such a bad idea. Or should we stagger the stone, I wonder? That might be cool. Although no one's ever going to see it. <laughs> but, hey, you know, I mean, we do what we will, right? It's like a little checkerboard. Yeah, this is overkill. This is 100% overkill. I don't recommend what I'm doing. Why am I even doing it? I, I honestly, I don't know. I just don't know. Sometimes I wonder about the things that I do. So basically, this is going to turn into a <laughs> longer than expected project. Let's just go ahead and get the checkerboard part complete. Then we'll kind of come in and set up our pier and beam off some of that, I think. Alright, what are we doing? That's our area. It's throwing me off a little bit with the dirt being there. There's that. And that. There, there, there. Alright, have we connected all the dots just about? Almost. Okay, so those little the dirt patches are just what's throwing me off, I think. So, uh, what is that? That is 100% okay. Okay, nope. You, sir, are too close to my pins. Thank you. I'll take the experience. And the wool. Okay, that was a win. I'm hoping that that's, that's, I've seen them obviously, they come into my area, but I'm hoping that this classifies as like, plains or river biome maybe? I don't know. Uh, let's get some trees actually. Possibly kill a few wolves too. I might turn the, uh, I don't know, I, I might do part of this off camera. I don't want to have like an eight episode cabin building. Marathon. I'm kind of, since these are every other day now, I'm kind of getting caught up. I also like the idea of clearing this out a little bit just because there's so many mobs that seem to be underground. And uh, some of those were skeletons. And I got in a battle with one of those, and then a creeper showed up. That could be bad. So, so use up this axe, I'd imagine. Try to leave stumps from time to time, but I'm going to try to do a mix of wood for what we're going to be building. There's a huge pumpkin patch, okay. Okay, yep, the, okay, that guy would have had to have been taken out by a wolf, even though we can't see him. So are there invisible wolves that we have to contend with, too? I don't even know, man. It's, it's just crazy. I'll try to leave them, I'll try to... Try to hope that nothing will happen, but we'll have to monitor it closely. I guess I could get some more birch as well for what we're going to be doing. Alright, I thought I had three axes, but oh well. We'll just pick these out. The good news is now at the bed we can, you know, hit the hay and kind of expedite this whole process. But... Alright. I kind of like getting them in with the leaves, that way the uh, wood doesn't have like the likelihood of flailing around like they do sometimes. Okay, so that's the tall one, this is the mediocre one. And as with all things in nature, only the strong survive. So, well that was a really short tree. <laughs> I guess that guy stunted his growth though, so... Hello. I'll take that. Alright, uh, let's get some birch. We might use it. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know for sure. Again, I don't want this to be like super elaborate of a place, but I just kind of want some place, you know. So we'll get a little bit into the forest here. Now, what is that over there? Is that my safe house thingy? Yeah, I think that's the edge of Forest Road over there, so uh, that's kind of a good marker. Now, this is not good. More wolf killing. Mm. I could always just burn this thing, <laughs> you know? 
Um, I've always, if I'm gonna do that, I've been tempted to do it in the jungle, though. That's scary. Uh, stick to the little guys. I especially like opening this up near their mob entries, you know, to caves and tunnels. Just because it kind of helps me not walk into them if I was ever, like, running through the forest or something. So, that's my logic anyway. Probably have enough wood, but what the heck. <laughs> you know. I think I hear zombies, but it's so hard uh, with a headset on for me to know. If I play solo, it's not a big deal. I just crank the TV up and I don't have to worry about, you know, reverbing on you or anything. Okay. And I think I'll also, that little thing we threw up of cobblestone with the torches, I think I want to just make a tower that'll be visible from all sides. Or from greater distances, I should say. And we're probably about to go in and hit the hay, speaking of that. We'll run back through here in the morning, maybe grab some apples and saplings and whatnots. And uh, we'll sort of backtrack through it a little bit. Not seeing anything, though. All right. Like a strange haze in the air. I don't know what, what that's about, but... Let's head down here. <laughs> and, uh... Hopefully nothing goes awry. Again, those sheep are... Not seeming to die in the pin, which is good news. All right, let's get in here. And for good measure, we'll do that. That way wolves can come in, and we'll keep tabs on them. All right, anything we need to unload. Seeds can go for now. Rotten flesh I don't really need. But I guess it might come in handy at some point. It's more of like an agricultural product. Got some more wool. Black wool can go there. Um, mm -hmm. We'll throw those saplings in for now. And bring that over here. Let's go ahead and make... I guess we should have another axe on us, just in case. What am I doing? There we go. <laughs> Alright. Uh, there's that. 59 pieces of oak. 59 pe- I did not plan that. I did not plan that. It worked out incredibly well. <laughs> Alright, so let's make some oak planks. We'll try to go... Let's do 48. We'll do 48 birch. And... That sounded really weird. It sounded like someone was knocking. But I don't have a door, so... Um... I want to make... I guess oak would be my... Choice there. So we need some sticks. I kind of selected the oak to make the stick. That's... that's weird. What if you wanted a birch stick? <laughs> you know? Uh, I wonder if it goes... I don't know. That was, that's interesting. I wonder if you had all things being equal, you had all the wood types, I guess oak is just pre-selected for the stick. You can make sticks out of any of the woods, but um, I guess oak must just be the choice. So That might be enough. Let's get some more oak planks. And I'm kind of thinking I'd like to do some half slabs. Let's go ahead and make some birch as well. And I'd like some stairs. <laughs> so, um, what do we have? We have 27. I don't think we'll need as many stairs as everything else. And let's crank out some more. Okay, uh, that'll, that'll be a good start for tomorrow. So, uh, we'll go ahead and hit the hay 14 minutes here. Maybe I should have not showcased the logging. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, if worse comes to worse, I'll just build the cabin, and then we'll, you know, be back at it. I always feel like I have to... Ooh, there is an Enderman over there. Maybe that was an Enderman and a horse that I saw. Okay, so that's a garden variety zombie. 
Another lots of zombies. No skeleton this morning. Kinda weird. Alright, we'll take this. And spruce isn't really growing. I don't know, that one may have to be moved. Right there. We'll deal with all that later. Main thing is we got him here. And let's make sure our new cabin site is okay. Looks like it is. No mobs in sight. Let's make a quick forest run. That way we can uh, pick up some saplings or apples if there are any. Lots of saplings. <laughs> this way if we ever want to replant in a controlled manner we can do that. And improve upon what nature had done previously. Or at least in the Minecraft world. Where did I go? I guess through here. Seems like we circumnavigated over to the pumpkins and then turned around. So, no birch saplings that I see. It's not a huge deal. Da -da -da -da. All right. So, there's an apple. I guess one out of like 180. <laughs> you know, isn't bad. Okay, that spider, he's not crossed the line just yet, but he's getting dangerously close to the unacceptable zone. So, um, let's just water this thing, I guess for our convenience. I hate these straight shots they do. It's so annoying. Alright. Yes. Roll down the mountain. Okay. Uh, what do we want to do? We got a full inventory, so we better make it count. Let's get this guy down here. And... No one's really gonna see any of this, though. <laughs> so... We'll do that. Maybe just the perimeter? I don't know. This is all overkill. If I wasn't doing such an elaborately unnoticed design that really no one will appreciate I think we would be done but uh, whatever it's, it's our cabin and I don't even know if this is the size we're gonna want I thought he was going to attack well we're out of wood so maybe we will stop there <laughs> I can't promise though um, what do we want to do Trying to think what would look best. It's kind of strange. Hmm. What would that be like? <laughs> um. Trying to decide here how we're gonna structure this thing. Don't you growl at me, spider. I will kill you. And you. It's, it's not bark fist. What could we do? I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'll just be honest with everyone. I uh, do think I want this extended a bit. This should be sufficient. That's yes, what do you think, Fido? I assume you're the same one that's been hanging out here with me. Huh. Oh no. I just don't know. I guess you have to do an aerial jump for those. Trying to think what the best way... I've never really built an elevated one. This is just completely ridiculous what we're doing. Um, hmm. 
Let me get some birch in here. I don't know. I have no idea what we're doing with our lives anymore. Strange things. <laughs> Is that going to be anything at all? Kind of like the eclectic modern cabin, maybe? Oh, how did that get placed there? <laughs> I mean, really? That's nuts. Okay. Uh... Not sure. Not sure. I don't think I want birch to be exposed on the outside. I think I want the entire outside to be oak. And this also is not a very big <laughs> footprint for a cabin, but... So, two... I guess we could do two outs. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> can we just make the wood planks? We can, thankfully. So yeah, you don't like this at all, do you? Unless you're gonna climb on everything we do. Could we run another birch? Maybe. Okay, that's not horrible. I mean like I said, this isn't this is kinda just something I would ordinarily not do. But I thought we could do something different like this, perhaps. It's parquet flooring kind of. <laughs> Welcome to 1978. Um, all right, now over there we've got a whole low, row of oak. We got a whole row of oak there. Hmm. Can you see the pier and beam though, or will you just know that it's there because you watched the video? That's the question. We're to 22 minutes now. I'd like, I kind of want it to be exposed since we took the time to actually do it. I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a neat deal. I wonder, how does it look staggered? I wonder. Let's take a gander at that. Okay, do we have any more stairs on us? We do. Let's throw that down there. I know that's past the perimeter, but we will have a porch. <laughs> yes, it's going to be bigger. Um, let's see. Since we went to all the trouble of doing that, I feel like it's idiotic to cover it up. So... There's that. <laughs> Man, this is a crazy little, crazy cabin. No, you weren't supposed to go there. We need a crafting table to fix this. Alright. Maybe, maybe we could work with that. Just kind of depends right now. Hopefully we have a little bit more dirt, so we can kind of fill some of this in. Where's the shovel? Oh, we had one on the hot bar. <laughs> I wonder about also maybe putting some... That looked like a skeleton that birch tree did. Don't have the torches handy. Uh, slide one down. 
there for now. Can we reach it? Here in the Zomberts already. So. Yeah, this is just total overkill. <laughs> if, you, if you ever wondered how to build something completely uh, in an overkill fashion, this, this would be it. Okay, um... Come get me mobs. I don't know. We will play with this, I guess, next episode and take it. This kind of gives us a nice view. I might have to get some of that sand so we can make glass for windows. Didn't bring any with us that I can think of, so... Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll play around with it and kind of see what we think. Um, I think I will end this episode here. I might record another one, just so we can kind of make some headway here. And yeah, we're, we're building the strange little cabin, so... <laughs> There's that. Let's see if we can get some crafting done or anything that we need to deposit. That can go. Uh, food. I guess can go there. Uh, we need to place this. Apparently. So let's go find somewhere for that. That'll do. And now uh, we can cycle into a new stack of cool. Alright, I think I will end this here, and I guess I will be back for episode 145. Maybe we'll get a little more progress made on the cabin, so stay tuned, and I will catch you back here for episode 145 of Xbox One Solo Survival.